I'm in Wodonga and I'm here to see Robbie Famichi who makes all his own small goods and from what I hear they're pretty damn good. There's the shop. Let's see if I can get him to open up for me. I can tell you, I'm really looking forward to this. The fact that it all happens in the side street of Wodonga didn't actually surprise me because I've now got used to the low-key approach of so many of our best food makers. Hey, I know it says it's closed, but the small goods here are so good they only need to open on a Friday and a Saturday. Hey. Robbie! Hey! Hey! C can't you read English? We're close today. No, no, Robbie, I've come to learn salami and sausages and prosciutto. Oh, all right, Paul. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Come in, mate. I'll take you. <laughs> all right. Now, are these local pigs? Local pigs, they come from Benalla. And you, you got them and you cut them up yesterday? Cut them up yesterday, ready to salt for prosciutto. So it's that great thing that um, it's local product and it's fresh and fresh. it's... Normally on a prosciutto you, what, you use a leg or a shoulder or something, yeah. wouldn't you? Well, this is part of the leg. Prosciutto's a full leg. Yep. We call these culetti, which are parts of the leg. The reason why I do them small like this because they cure a lot quicker for me okay. and they're more, once they're cured, they're more easy to slice on the slicer okay. and there's not much wastage. You're only um, open on a Friday and a Saturday? Fr Friday and Saturday. And that's it? And, and, and that's it because during the week our pigs come in, um, we process them, it's just a small family business and um, it's all hands on for us. Yep. And after three or four days after they've been salted and placed in the bin, yeah. We um, remove them, take them out, remove them, lightly salt them, and then replace them back in the bin. And you just put a layer of garlic like that. As the meat releases its juices, yep. the garlic goes in the juices okay. and it creates its own marinade. We'll just pop these back in the cool room. We'll see you in three weeks. <laughs> Oh, it's been cold in there. Oh, oh okay. So, uh, oh. these are about, what, seven, eight weeks? Seven, eight weeks old. This is what the product looks like when it's done. Peel it open, and that's what the product... So they're just very lightly smoked. Yum. I'm going to look forward to cooking with that, if I don't eat it all first. Yes. I could have done a whole show learning to make small goods with Robbie. He does it with such consummate ease, and there's no mincing around. Well, not much anyway. These are your sausage casings, but are they synthetic or real? No, they're real hog casings yep. from, from the pork intestine. They must be put on. Yeah, that's it like that. Just got to start off slow, and the sausage comes out. You keep your thumb to about there, sort of let it slide. Filling's an easy job, but if you overfill, you're going to break the casing a yep. lot. It's not difficult, but it's that. Yeah, it's an it's a, um, interesting sausage, that one. Yeah, I didn't do that. It's a twist and a turn, and an over and an under. Which one sits? Oh, that one. And a through. You guys go to lunch. <laughs> and a push, and a twist, and a turn. So how many would you tie in a day? Oh, it depends how many I made. Average I make oh, 150 kilo a week. Oh, look at that, I did it. You did no, it. No, I didn't. Under, through, twist. Yes, you've done it. There you go. But you've just got like hard. that. Under, through, pinch, pinch, and turn. Like that. Something else. Lovingly made by mum, dad, and the kids. Fantastic. Ciao. Ciao, grazie, grazie Ciao. mille. Ah.